Inside of this box is one of the cheapest gaming PCs you can get from Facebook Marketplace that actually has some pretty good specs. Unlike most PCs from Facebook Marketplace, this PC is actually brand new and cost me a little bit over $400. Inside of this PC, we have a Core i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM and even a 1060. Cable management inside of this PC is actually really good, I can't lie. It's actually better than I expected to be honest. I've never seen a PC case that actually has like a sliding opening door, but let's see how far we can move that. Let's just remove this kind of tape thing. Okay, there we go. One thing I really don't like about this PC is the RAM. It's kind of this really ugly looking green, like the kind of normal RAM. It's not gaming RGB RAM or anything like that, but the rest of the PC looks really, really nice. I mean, I w and on the back, the cable management is, I mean, I guess they did add some like kind of cable ties, like two cable ties, but I really would not consider this cable management to be completely honest. There's really just a bunch of cables all over the place here, but for the price, I think it definitely kind of matches the price to be honest. They actually have another zip tie that they didn't even end up using. So yeah, they definitely didn't really focus too much on cable management. You got your fan hub here, kind of basic. And I think, I don't know if it's a modular power supply or not. This is actually a non-modular power supply, which is why there's so many cables because they can't detach them at all. But hey, as long as we put this back case on it then no one's seeing it so we're fine it's now time to set up this pc i just finished putting everything together and let's see if we have power I'm, this is a pretty weird power button and there we go i think that's the only rgb in the setup oh wait no, actually these fans over here are also RGB. So honestly, let's see how it performs of course, but aesthetic wise for $400, it looks pretty nice. It's been a couple of hours. This PC was a little bit slow to download things, but finally we got the first game and we're gonna be playing some Apex Legends. Okay, so I'm in Apex Arenas right now and it looks like we're getting a consistent 100 FPS. Something weird was happening earlier though, where like the loading screens were bugging out, but the gameplay so far feels completely fine. It's not like any big Big frame drops or anything like that at all there we go cracked yeah this actually feels really good i can't even lie this feels really really nice okay yeah it's putting me in like really low division lobbies i'm not even gonna cap i'm on max fov2 and the whole pc is running really well even if i spin around like this it's still getting like over 100 fps really easily like around 100 120 it's really really good yo these guys are like actually camping i don't even know where they are camping right now oh they're over there Oh yeah, this guy's literally 1 HP. Never mind, he's cracked now. Yo, I literally can't see anything. Yo, why am I getting in actual bot lobbies? I'm not even kidding. It's putting me in like straight bot lobbies right now. The 1060 is holding up really well in Apex, but I think it's actually going to even hold up better in Fortnite because in Fortnite, you get a lot more FPS. To be honest, I think I will get at least like 200 FPS in Fortnite. Last time I made a video testing out a PC, literally everyone wanted me to test out CSGO. So I played it for like two or three days prepared for this video and I just have default settings. And I'm kind of too lazy to like put it to my normal settings. So hopefully I'm not absolutely terrible here. Oh my gosh, there's literally so many people right here. This is probably really dumb. I hate how I actually have to use the scroll wheel to change. Oh my gosh, yo, my guy just, oh. Wait, is he hacking? He's high key hacking, I think. Oh my gosh, okay, bro. Nice, I should've bought a deagle. For some reason, the FPS test is not showing up on CSGO. I don't know why at all, but if I had to guess, I, I mean, I know it's at least 100 FPS because it feels like it, but I don't really know the exact amount, which is really annoying. Yo, we're, we're, oh my, yo, got that kill, you already know. We were all camping and I'm about to die. I, I cannot use scroll wheel, bro. It is so bad. I'm literally using default CSGO settings right now because I'm too lazy to change to my own. There we go. Oh my gosh, even the sense. It's so, oh my gosh, this is so bad. Oh my gosh, yo, they're actually posted up. And how do I unscope, bro? This is so bad. Yo, they are posted up over there, bro. They are not playing. Ready for this? Yo, wait, what, what are they doing? Oh, this last one's just camping up there. Easy. There we go. 
Yo, these settings are so bad, but honestly, for CSGO and Apex, for the PC being $400, this is really, really good, to be honest. Okay, so 300 FPS in creative, not too bad at all, to be honest. I think it's freezing a little bit though. I feel a little bit of kind of input delay. I think it'd be better if I just capped it at 240 FPS, to be honest. And it kind of seems like that's all it's getting right now. Yeah, this definitely feels a lot better, but I will say it does not, of course, feel as good as like my main PC. My main PC is like completely out of the budget though, but it definitely has a little bit more delay compared to like a really expensive PC, but it's still is really really good especially if you're coming from console this will feel extremely good much better than any kind of console you could get in game the pc struggles a little bit i mean when i'm dropping i'm getting 90 fps not too bad at all i think it's gonna run yeah it's getting around 60 i definitely would not cap it at 240 i think just for the purpose of this video let's put it on unlimited just to see but i'm pretty sure it's gonna get around like 120 or something fps as i'm gliding it is at around 80 fps but as soon as i land it should go up a lot yeah there we go we got oh my it's actually still lagging a bit we, we got 140 fps although it says 200 fps it does feel like it's kind of stuttering a little bit i would probably try and kind of mess with the settings or even just probably put the fps at a cap of 144 because it is stuttering quite a bit it goes from 200 fps but then goes down to 80 fps like it's just extremely inconsistent that's the main problem with it yo look at this aquaman oh my 120 easy kill there we go Yo, there's actually so many people that landed here. How did I miss that shot, bro? Are you serious, Rainiel? Yo, this is actually so hard to hit. Okay, you know what? I'm just dropping, bro. I don't even care. Yo, wait, what? What is even going on right now, bro? Let's just drop right behind him. Yo, why is my thing, like, switching weapons automatically now? There we go. He's literally 1 HP. Easy. Okay, perfect. Yo, there were a lot of guys around here. Oh, yeah, here's the one. There we go. Cracked. Oh my gosh, I feel like a boomer. My mechanics are so rusty. Yo, what? Okay, wait, this is the guy I was fighting earlier. Come here, bud. Yo, he's gonna run away for sure. Yeah, right before. Right before he could smash it, we got it. I actually, I'm not even kidding. I forgot about the video. Like, this PC actually didn't even feel that bad at all as I was playing. Okay, what is this guy doing, bro? My guy's just doing donuts or drifting on ice. Okay, there he is. Yeah, I don't even know what this guy's plan is here, bro. Oh, shoot. Yo, controller player for sure. I actually have no builds, too. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, GG. Nice. We love Fortnite. This $400 PC was miles better than the $300 PC I got from Amazon. So if you guys have $300, please, I'm begging you, save the extra $100 and buy this PC. And I seriously think this is one of the best PCs, at least pre-built PCs you can get for $400. I don't know why I said it like that. Watch the $300 PC video right over here. And if you guys did enjoy this video, of course, make sure you sub because literally only 18% of you guys that watch my videos are subbed. Like over 80% of you guys that watch my videos are not even subbed at all. So make sure you go down there and drop a sub. That's about it. God bless.